okay. I believe living for God is like a race. Like, I feel, like a marathon. Have you ever ran a marathon? I believe a marathon is like 26, 28 miles or something like that. Now, I never ran a marathon like that, but let's say you have to run a race for the rest of your life. So let's say that you have to run a race for the rest of your life. So let's say the whole point in running the race is to finish. Okay. And let's say it does not matter what place you get in. Like, it doesn't matter if you come in first place second place, third place, whatever. In this race, what matters is if you finish. So in this race, does it matter how many times you trip? No. Does it matter how many times you fall? No. Does it matter how fast you are going? Not really, because I believe the whole point in this race is to finish. So you may not be as fast as runner 20. You may not have as much stamina as runner 18. But the whole point of this race, huh, is to finish. Now, take that in the aspect of living for God. I believe living for God, huh, is like a race. Now, if you can run the race really fast and accomplish many things, hey, great. But what I feel, huh, in this race, it is about finishing. So if you trip many times, try not to trip. If you fall down many times, hey, Try not to fall down. No matter how many times you trip, I mean, no matter how many times you fall down, as long as you get yourself back up and continue on with the race, whether you are limping or walking really slow or whatever, as long as you get back up and choose to still participate in the race, huh? I believe that is what counts. So I feel living for God is like participating in a race. Yes, don't try to trip. Don't try to fall, but if you do, recover. If you fall down, if you sin, hey, get up and continue on with the race. Don't turn your back and say, well, Kevin, I fell down, I sinned, and I think there is no point in continuing on in this race. Don't do that. All you have to do primarily, perhaps I should say, 
is continue on with the race. Don't give up. Look now, some people may believe if you aren't living for God perfectly, as in not doing anything wrong, how can I say that? Some people may believe if they can't do everything perfectly, they should not live for God. Now, um, who, what human that is living for God now can do everything perfectly? I can't do everything perfectly. Look now, when you live for God, I believe it is a growing process. So if you are growing, does that mean you are perfect? If I am already perfect in God, why am I still growing? So if I am growing, I am not perfect in it, right? Because if I am perfect in it, how can I still grow? If I have room for improvement, how am I perfect? No matter how many times you mess up, no matter how many times you fall down, yes, I am not saying sinning is okay, but don't be so concerned about failing. Don't be so, don't be so concerned about sinning per se be concerned about recovering getting back up and continuing to try to live for god please show me who is serving god what human perhaps i should say maybe i did not say for the other thing i said other things i said but what human is serving God perfectly now. No matter how perfect a person may look, no matter how, how holy, huh? How holy they seem, I believe if you look deep into everyone's life, I think you are going to see some error. Even if you look in my life, I believe you may see error. Yes, I may not sin as much as another person. I may not do as much evil as someone else, but I am not perfect. But my heart, my intentions, is to serve God and do what is right. And I believe because of that, God is honoring that. I think some people place so much focus on what they do wrong and not so much focus on recovering and coming back to Jesus Christ and trying to do what is right. Yes, you may do evil, you may do what is wrong, but don't give up. Finish, huh? Finish the race. I believe living for God is about participating and finishing the race. Yes, during the race, you may get wounded. Yes, during the race, did I say that right? During the race, you may get wounded. During the race, you may hurt yourself. During the race, you may fall. During the race, you may get discouraged. But whatever happens, huh? Finish it. This, in my opinion, this is a lifelong race when you live for God. No matter what happens, no matter how many times you fall or whatever, finish the race. I think that is the whole point there. 
you are going to fail. I believe many of us will fail. But that is not the point. That is not the center focus. I believe the center focus is getting back up, continuing on, never giving up. Don't get angry at God, then go to witchcraft. Don't get angry with God and become a Satanist or an occult member. Hey, stay focused, stay encouraged, huh? And live for God. I have not seen any human being that is perfect in living for God. I believe we all have faults. Yes, some people may have more faults than others, probably, but whatever. Strive for perfection even though you may fail many times. Failing many times is not an, an excuse to stop living for God. If your heart wants God, if you want to do what is right, okay, continue on. But if you are playing with God, if you don't care about living for God and you are only trying to have an appearance of living for God to please people, okay, then what you should do is stop playing around and give your life to God totally. No half stepping. Let me stop here. God bless you.